Pisces, welcome to your reading. This is going to be your weekly read for the first week of June. This is a general reading, will not resonate with every Taurus out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus specific. This is for any Taurus placements that you may have in your chart. Any contact information is in the description box. And we're going to jump right in, Taurus. This is for Taurus, messages for their greatest and highest good. What are the messages we have for Taurus? Three cards out. Three more cards for Taurus, please. First week of June. First week of June for Taurus. Also going to pull you a Animal Oracle card at the end, as well as a Moonology and a Work Your Light card, just to give you some more guidance for the week. Two more cards for Taurus, please. What else do we have for Taurus? First week of June already. What do we have for Taurus? Okay, perfect. Okay, bottom of the deck this week. Taurus, we have the Page of Pentacles. Um, Earth sign energy, your energy definitely could be learning something new. Curious about something is what I'm hearing. There's something that you're curious about or someone, something that is sparked your interest. There's some new potential that you're either coming into the awareness of or you're going to be coming into the awareness of. For most of you, you've probably already come into this awareness. There's something that you have your eye on. Person, place, or thing. Depends on your situation. But you definitely have your eye on something this week, Taurus. There's something new brewing. Could be studying something new as well, okay? But um, that page energy is very new, fresh energy. And it is earth sign energy. So I definitely think that it could be you that um, has your eye on something. There's some sort of potential that you see. But let's get into it. Your first card out in the past position is the Ten of Swords. So definitely getting over something here. Something is ended. Something is done. Finito. You've learned your lesson. Ain't going to do that again. Ten of Swords is speaking to the worst being behind you. Whatever cycle you've just come out of, that's probably going to be the last of that type of energy, okay? Um, this is also a card of betrayal. You know, being stabbed in the back. Thoughts of being stabbed in the back. You know, all that sort of stuff. But it is a ten. So it means... You know, it didn't kill you. It made you stronger. And now you can take it as a learning lesson and move forward. And it was some dramatic stuff because it's coming out with the Major Arcana, Tower card, Scorpio energy. So something suddenly, maybe you weren't expecting whatever this was to end. But I highly doubt that, right? When something ends, we usually have the inclination that it needs to end at some point. We just ignore it, obviously. Um, but something suddenly changed here. So Epiphany. Um, light bulb moment, some information came out, something was said, something was heard, um, but definitely something you were not expecting to end definitely came to a screeching halt here for you. Very painful situation, it looks like. But um, with that Ten of Swords, at least, you know, that's done and over with. It's of the past. You're going to be getting over it, but it was necessary. It was definitely necessary. And maybe without this tower, you wouldn't be able to find have found whatever, ooh, look at this, underneath that, wish fulfillment. Okay, let's get into it. Your present position, we have the Six of Wands. This is public net recognition, being admired. Okay, so right now you're definitely being admired. You're being, you know, really looked at as something important. Some of you could be in the public eye entering into that sort of field, but definitely being admired for your efforts, your skills, your talents, whatever it is, your beauty um you know celebrated you know your love and there's also people that you probably don't know are secretly admiring you because we have it with the moon card which is pisces energy could be significant for you but this is things that you're not seeing so you're probably not even seeing how admired you are this week pisces not pisces taurus but you're feeling very successful nonetheless and even if um you're not aware of people that are also noticing your success you know how beautiful you are how talented you are really admiring what you got going on there's a lot more going on underneath the surface that you are not aware of this moon card also speaks to very deep emotional feelings as the moon does tie into our emotions right so there's some sort of emotional there's some sort of admiration that you're not seeing okay in the future, we have the Seven of Cups. This is confusion energy, okay? I definitely think this is going to be confusion energy because it's like something ended, you got out of something, you quit a job, you broke up with somebody, and now that you're single, you've taken the time to heal with that Ten of Swords, you're looking really good, right? 
you're getting that glow up energy. So now you probably got a lot of options because this seven of cups is a card of options and it is cups. So it does speak to emotional things, right? So there's a lot going on. You got a lot of options. A lot of people want your eye. I mean, being admired, right? I'm sure there's people you see and people you don't see. Okay, so there's probably a lot more people admiring you than you think. And this might give you a bit of confusion. You might have a lot of opportunities to do a lot of things when it comes to your emotional side. Dates, all that sort of things. If it's not happening, it's about to. But I think you're going to find something that you're particularly interested in because you do have the Ace of Cups here. Major Arcana, right? There is going to be one particular um, offer that is definitely going to stand out for you. And I think this is going to be what has what you have your eye on, right? Definitely have your eye on something in particular. Maybe have a lot of options or will have a lot of options, but there is going to be something in particular that you want. Someone in particular you want, a job in particular. And it looks like you're going to get it because underneath the Page of Pentacles, wish fulfillment. Okay, so whoever you got your eye on, whoever you've been crushing on, whoever your heart's been pounding over, you're definitely going to be very successful when it comes to that if you decide to follow that inclination or if you decide to take the offer because um, we do have the Four of Swords underneath that, right? Which is a card of taking a break, really stepping back to think, to meditate, to heal, or this is what you're going to have to do to really think if this is something you want moving forward because, I mean, this is a lot of potential, Right? A lot of potential. And to go from the Seven of Cups to the Ace of Cups, there's definitely something in particular that you're going to be locking eyes with, okay? Let's get you a Moonology for Taurus. First week of June, what do we have for Taurus? <clears throat> Messages for their greatest and highest good. But this is beautiful energy. It's a really nice story here. Definitely coming out of some, some real hard times, but definitely... Whatever you went through in the past, it was to prepare you for whatever this is. Okay, Ace of Cups, new job that you that you love a lot, new person that you're extremely in love with. This is like love of your life energy, right? Especially with this Nine of Cups underneath it. This is wish fulfillment. This is contentment. This is my living your best life card. Okay, so you're going from the seven to the nine, which is getting everything you want. But you had to go through... This nonsense, right? We don't see why we go through things until we get to the end of things, right? Always remember that. This is what you had to come through. As I said, the worst is behind you. Whatever it is that went on in the past, it's not happening anymore. This is what you're walking into. This sort of beautiful energy, wish fulfillment, something that really makes your heart overflow, something that you're really happy with. And nine plus one is 10. Potential long-term situation coming your way here, Taurus. Okay, one card for Taurus. First week of June. Two cards. Step out of your comfort zone. North Node, step out of your comfort zone. Absolutely, this is, this under here is representing the comfort zone for some of you. You're going to meet this person and you're going to feel that connection instantaneously, most likely. Or if this is a job, you're going to feel, see this opportunity and really want this position, but you're going to doubt yourself. You're going to overthink. This could be this here. Being confused. When you're not confused, you know exactly what you want. You know exactly what you want. There's something in particular you want. And you need to go after that. Get out of your comfort zone. And the energy is gaining momentum. Beautiful energy. Purple could be significant for you this week. Maybe you might want to wear purple. Both happen to be purple, so that definitely might mean something for you. But the energy is gaining momentum. So whatever it is, okay, you're going to get it. Wish fulfillment, you're getting at it. Patience is required a little bit more. You've, you've, you've waited this long, you might as well, right? But there are some things that you're not seeing or potentially someone that is very interested in you that you're not aware of. They probably haven't revealed themselves yet. And this could be why you may feel in this confused state because you haven't quite seen all your options. Because trust me, I believe you're going to have a lot with that Six of Wands. But once this admirer is revealed, you're going to know exactly what you want. Okay. The energy is getting momentum. What do we have for Taurus? I'll take two. Four. Okay, leap. See that? Go first and the universe will catch you leap trust and share your voice come out of the cave prosecution expression you need to have a conversation there's a conversation that's going to be had that needs to be had 
Maybe you need to be the one to initiate it. Maybe this person might initiate it. Lots of more purple too, right? Look at this. Purple is very significant for you this week, Taurus. Lots of purple. Violet. Share your voice. Once this offer is presented, be honest. Be upfront. Let's get you a animal oracle for Taurus. First week of June. Messages for the greatest and highest good. What guidance do we have for Taurus? I do only take jumpers, so patience is required. One card for Taurus. Okay. Truth transcends illusion. I told you, tell the truth. If you have emotions for this person, there's going to be a conversation and they need to be expressed. You might have to initiate this. All of your situation is going to be different. You know if you are if you are the one that needs to initiate this. I don't think so, though, for some of you. I think there's someone that's secretly admiring you. Maybe someone you have your eye on, but you're not quite sure if they have their eye on you. And I'm telling you, they do. And there's going to be a conversation about it. And you need to speak your truth. You need to tell them what it is. Straight up, straight down. Take a leap of faith. Okay, energy is gaining momentum. Is this one it? Step out of your comfort zone. Step out of this. Okay, step out of your comfort zone. And some of you are contemplating whether or not you should invest or you're going to try and contemplate it. But I mean, as I said, all of your situations are different, but don't overthink, okay? Don't overthink. Step out of your comfort zone this week, Taurus. Those are the messages that I have for you. Hopefully they were helpful. Thumbs up, leave a comment if it was, and I will see you guys next week.